much up. If you join me here at what's called on Google Map the Red Vintage Market Chatter Chuck. So as the title suggests, it's a vintage market and it's just by Chatter Chuck. Go figure. So yeah, never been to this one before. So I thought I'd pop along and have a look today. Uh, just on the overpass here, so a bit noisy with the traffic. So I'm just going to walk down the steps now and go inside and then um, we'll see what there is. So I'll come back in a minute. So this is a Wednesday and I use the BTS up to mode chip and then cut through some of Chatterchuck Market which is obviously closed because weekend market. A few stalls open, a lot of the flower stalls and shops are open but that's about it today. So I'll cut through and come out, popped out that entrance over there where that brightly coloured security vehicle is and then just walked along and then over this walkway and then uh, now going inside. Oh, yeah, oh, look. Closed on Mondays. Oh, now that is welcome coolness straight away. So I suppose we'll just start looking around now. Straight away some older looking furniture and things. So good if you're buying that condo and you want a vintage retro look. You can outfit your uh, apartment or condo house whatever with stuff that's a bit different or more to your taste even oh right okay now we found the central stairway and yes this is it simply just walk around and see what you find and see what you like Few amulets here. Always like these. Always see something new. So as I say, this is a Wednesday, just after midday. So fairly quiet, I'd imagine. As with the big market dead opposite, it gets rammed and very busy at a weekend. Oh, look at these. Nice if you've got that big house and you want to make it look a bit more regal. A bit more opulence if you're going for that look. So that was A zone, now going up to the B zone. Maybe clothing, such likes. Yeah, it looks like it is. Different styles. Uh, pick away, I don't know. Let's try this way. They have all different styles and looks here.
been a few vintage camera shops so far. So if you're into your vintage 35mm or medium frame, you'll probably find something. just come up the escalator and then what you're greeted with is big seating area I suppose this can be used for other things like functions other things of that nature and then over here is like a food court selling a variety of foods some of them doing quite a lot of dishes actually, and some looking quite tasty. Uh, there's some of the sample prices there, look. Okay, so a few different choices. So when you've done enough shopping till you're dropping, you can come up here refuel <clears throat> even get a nice smoothie look maybe a coffee something like that there's another place over there doing Thai tea and you can even get some tacos and pasta 
if that's what you prefer. And then you've got this seating area here. All very good. Fairly cool up here. So you can sit down, cool off, relax for a while, eat something, drink something, and then if you uh, can carry more things or you've got more budget, then off you go again and carry on doing more shopping. There are more floors above, but as you can see, look, blocked off. So either, I don't know, they're doing something up there or they're just not going to bother with that bit. This is a view out the front of the building. So as you can see, there is the rest of Chachuk. The sprawling massive market that has been on many a vlog and is still on many a vlog still popular and then Mochit BTS is just over that direction And now this is the ground floor, or first floor as they call it in Thailand, that we didn't see at the start, so I came in from the second floor. But it looks like down here, as you come in, there's some furniture and then some jewellery. There's lots of seating areas around all the floors, which is quite good for a change because... Um, a lot of these places and markets in Thailand, there's nowhere. So if you want to have a break halfway round, you can't. But this one, uh, very good. So yeah, this one is more furniture and interior items. The handy, handy Cafe Amazon, which is one of my favourites. Just outside. And then just outside, we greet you with these sites. This is outside the one of the main entrances at the front of the building. On the side of the busy main road, when you've got this selection of items all out here. So a whole mix match of goods. Yeah.